glad you were able to join me today. This episode is going to be about drawing dogs. We're going to draw a cute one and we're going to draw a cool one. So maybe some of you watched the dog drawing episode before and if you want a more in-depth les lesson on drawing dogs you can definitely watch that. Just click on the box. Now for the head shape I want you to do... oops, not that. Oh what happened to my eraser? Ah. So for the head shape it's uh, it's like a square with a wider top. If you notice, cartoons always have shapes underneath of them. They're always made up of shapes. So if you pay attention, then it's not that hard to draw cartoons by building shapes underneath. Then make a line come straight out from the side here, really close to the bottom. Well, not super close, a little lower than halfway. And then come around. So that's where the nose area is going to be. Then we're going to draw then right here, make a V down to the back and draw almost like a teardrop without a top like that then here is where the body is so the funny thing about this dog is that the body is as tall as the ear is so however far the ear goes down that's where the end of the feet are. Now this is a little bit tricky, but you can make a little rectangle coming out from the ear and then a line that swoops down and up off the back. That's where the tail will be. Now for the back leg, we want to go down the body and then out a little and then down. Now go over like that, up to that same spot, and then it curves in a little. Okay, we draw the tummy, and then leave a little space and draw a line like that. It's curving that way a tiny bit and it goes down to the floor, right to where the ear is. And then it goes across, and then up, and then we're gonna do a diagonal this way on the front paw. So you see dog feet are, dog legs are a little bit complicated, but with practice you can do it. Then the other leg, just come down, that come down like that okay so the tail we want it to have some fur like that and this is the head rounded off you can round off that corner a little bit more and then the front has hair, so hair we swoop up and then we swoop up again and then we curve down and then we curve down, see? So the ones on top kind of go up like little spiky triangles and the ones on the front are curving down. So the tip of the nose actually my nose is out too far. It should be in a 
little bit further like this. Do you see that shape? It's like a, a leaning droplet. So up under the hair here, you want to curve down in and then out to the nose. And then the nose comes down and around. Okay, and then right here, just inside this line, right here, you're gonna make an oval. With a little slanted line on the top. Inside this oval, you're gonna put a smaller oval near the top, see? And then an even smaller oval inside that one. So the second oval we color, we leave the shine spot empty. And then we're gonna put a little nose with the shine. Trace over the ear. At the bottom of the ear, you can make some hair. And at the top of the ear, there's some hairs. And over here, under the chin, there's another ear. So let's trace it over. Now, if you want to, you can add a spot on the dog's back like this. And you can try to cross hatch in there. Cross hatching is a type of shading using lines. And they also shade out the back legs because they're in shadow being back there and also the back ear. All right. So now I just erase the pencil. And there's our cute little poochie. <laughs> poochie. Ooh. Now we're gonna draw the cool dog. And now the cool dog, he is a little angry, but I thought this guy looked pretty cool. So let's just say he's protecting his master. Okay, for the cool dog, you're going to start with the top of his head. So the top of his head is going to be, his head is going to end up being about that big on my page. So the top of his head should be about this, this big. It's just going to be an upside down U shape. Like so. Okay, and now, right in the middle of that, you draw a line straight up. And from that line, you're gonna go up almost to the side. See, can you do that? Then from this point down a little, you're gonna make a little curve. That's gonna be his nose. So after you get the top curve, you can do the bottom curve, which will be a little bit of a deeper U. Notice how this is a, a shallow curve and this is a deep curve. That's good. And then we'll do his nostrils. One half circle here, one half circle here. All right. So now, for this dog, we're gonna put another upside down U shape that goes about out to here and about out to here. So put dots where you wanna go and then draw down like that. That helps sometimes if you put a dot where you're gonna be drawing to then it makes it easier. Okay, now this shape is a little bit funny. So 
it might help to do almost like a smiley shape under the nose, but not a very deep one. A little bit of a smile, then go down to the edge. These are his growly, this growly top lip. Okay, now right about here, in from the edge a little bit right there, you go down and in, and do the same over here. There's a lot of building to this face, but it'll be worth it. Now, we're gonna go down and out. See, these are his teeth forming. And from this bottom line, you're gonna make a spike up and then down. And then a bit of a smaller spike down. And then two or three small spikes. And then you get bigger and then bigger to the side again. It doesn't matter if it's not perfectly exactly like the ones that I just did. And so now you're gonna make lines down, one there, one there. And the ones in the middle are shorter and they get a little bit longer as they go out, you see? Then you can do little bumps on the bottom Those are his funny teeth. And from these points, just go up to the gums. Okay? All right, so now from this uh, point right here again, from this point, we're gonna go straight down. A little lower than the teeth. And then kind of make, it doesn't have to be a straight line, it's going to be, he's like growling, so it's good if it's a little bit, just a tiny bit of a slant in it. And then from this point, we're going to go down and do a, a fat U shape, like a, the bottom of a burger bun. Then from the edge of this eyebrow, go in a little ways and do a roundish shape like that. That's going to be his eye, same thing over here. And then do a pupil against the eyebrow. So you just make a circle close to the eyebrow. Whoa, doesn't he look angry? All right, beside the eye, you're gonna make the cheek, so it's gonna go up and down. And then up, down. All right, and then down here under the chin, make a straight line down, straight line down. This is his collar, so you can make it however thick you want. I'm gonna make mine like that. And I like to put spikes on these collars, so that's just triangles out the sides, and then triangles downward with a top like that on them. There, now he has a spiky collar. And you can do part of his body. And then, right up on the edge, the top of his head, right about here, you can draw a line up, a line up, not too big, because his ears are pretty tiny. And then a line down, a line down. And then a triangle on that, triangle on that, and then a line down, and another line down over here. There you go. That is one angry looking dog. Now we can trace it. What a dog. I don't know what his name should be. Maybe, maybe Grumpy. Do you need a hug? 
So that was our episode on drawing dogs and you can maybe draw one of them or both of them and send it in to me and I'll feature it on the next Art Club episode. Let me know which one you like better, the cool one or the cute one or maybe a mixture of the two. So before you go, I'm going to open up the Art Club mailbox. Let's see what's in here today. Man, another thing from my childhood. What is with that? Does anybody know what this thing is? Etch-a-sketch. I love these things. I'm gonna try to draw a dog. It's so hard. Oh, you know what? It looks a little bit more like a bear than a dog. This is what it should have been on last week's episode. See it? Oh well. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Thanks so much for joining in and drawing with me. Thank you for sending in your drawings too. I love to see your guys' progress. So I will see you next time, right?